I'm gonna get so many pitchforks at my house tonight. Disclaimer, I don't hate anyone on any team, nor am I treating this Splatfest like it's life or death. I just thought it would be fun to look through lots of canonical material to determine who would lead the best out of these three idols. With that said, let's start off by looking at Shiver's leadership skills. I couldn't find too much about Shiver's backstory, but her ancestors were definitely a culture based around sharks and blades, as shown in the 10th Sunken Scroll. Shiver met Fry and Big Man in middle school, and practiced singing alongside Fry atop the school rooftop. I want to focus on one thing in particular though, and that's her shark. Shiva has shown a mixed relationship with her pet, Master Mega. Some can see them as great warriors, comfortably able to dance and maneuver across spinning ink whirlwinds, having the ability to swim up a road of eels fast enough to allow Agent 3 to jump out of orbits, and much more. Others can see them as two children just not getting along. Shiva is not nice at all to Master Mega, constantly abusing the animal and blaming it for her aggressive and risky moves. It's difficult to interpret how good of a leader Shiver is based off of this. On one hand, she can clearly do great things with her shark under her command, but she also frequently doesn't treat it with any sort of respect. Judging by the fact that she sometimes can't handle one shark not doing its best, it would be an understatement to say that she would struggle with keeping a level head while leading a whole group of people. Her arrogance and aggressive nature often gets the best of her, and that's a quality you probably don't want a leader to have. Not to mention, Shiver picked Team Power and Team Money in the recent Splatfests, both of which being self-fulfilling Splatfest teams. It's unclear whether or not Shiver is a good leader judging by what we can see in canonical material, and I'm going to leave the interpretation up to you, since I don't exactly know how to make a call on this one. But, the same cannot be said for our next Deep Cut member, Fry. Born into the Onaga clan, Fry is similar to Shiver in the sense that her ancestors were part of a specific culture. This time, it revolves around eels, as shown in the 11th Sunken Scroll. This clan seems to be about dancing, having fun, and leading a whole bunch of eels. And honestly, I think that summarizes Fry pretty well. She met Shiver and Big Man in the aforementioned middle school, and loved to dance and sing to Calamari Incantation. In her scroll, it states that her ancestors can conjure whirlpools with eels, which is backed up by what we can see here in Fry's boss fights. Fry can command over hundreds of eels in a variety of ways, such as creating a massive path of eels for Master Mega and Agent 3 to ride on top of. But my favorite display of Fry's moray eel manipulation is here, perfectly commanding over a massive group of eels while dancing on a giant spinning cube. This boss fight is really weird. However, it ties into what Fry loves doing the most. The fact that she can effortlessly command over her eels shows that she has experience with leading big groups. While these eels are different from normal people, there's no doubt that this is still a really impressive feat of leadership. She cares for her eels a lot, and they have trust in her, as shown here when she is surfing on top of one. Animals like horses and donkeys have to build up a lot of trust and compassion to be ridden, with no issues whatsoever. So, this further proves that Fry is a capable leader. But, if things get too dire, she isn't afraid to turn serious. She states that she isn't the type of person to back down when she's beaten, when you fight her for the second time. However, Fry has shown to not take things seriously all the time, and she isn't exactly the smartest idol in Deep Cut. Despite this flaw, it's consistently shown that Fry has great control over her people, and loves them very much. And with this good of a control over her eels, whether she's using her whistle to command them or simply calling for them, there's no denying that Fry is a worthy candidate for the best leader among Deep Cut. However, we have one more idol left to cover, and he could absolutely win out against Fry in terms of leadership skills. Let's talk about Big Man. Raised in the Manta clan, Big Man is seen as the outlier of sorts in Deep Cut. He was the last member to join the group, and specializes in instrumentation and songwriting, rather than singing and dancing, and sadly that can be viewed as one of his weaknesses. He is constantly anxious and introverted, always at the side on his own. He doesn't want to sing and dance, he doesn't want to be famous. This is shown by the fact that he chose courage in the Legend of Zelda Splatfest, implying that he seeks more and doesn't have a lot of it. He's also fairly easygoing and too soft, but honestly, that's where the bad leadership qualities end. Big Man has shown to be super passionate about Splatsville and the people, to the point where he's directly stated that the only reason he's fighting Agent 3 is for Splatsville. He definitely gets a massive leg up in that regard, and since he chose love in the Love Money Fame Splatfest, it shows he'd do anything for the place he'd lead, which is Splatsville. He's also plugged up the courage to collaborate with the Squid Sisters, and has still done some singing and dancing, although it isn't on the level that Shiver and Fry do. He is absolutely the most relaxed, witty, and ethical choice of the three idols, and judging by his cautious nature he shows, I believe 
believe he wouldn't be the type to risk a wrong decision. Despite his flaws, Big Man would absolutely be a good leader for Splatsville, considering his passion for the place. But who won out overall? Let's find out. It is a first round knockout. While Shiver and Big Man certainly have their strengths, I just don't see much of a competition on this one. Shiver has stated that she's the leader of Deep Cut, but judging by her cocky nature and Fry's shocked expression afterwards, it's not actually that easy to trust her statement here. Meanwhile, Fry is always asking the Squidbeak Splatoon to join Deep Cuts, always closest to the camera, always loud and always passionate, which are all great leadership skills to me. Not to mention her experience with leading all of those eels skillfully and perfectly, which is something that the other two idols can't say they have much experience with. While it is true that Big Man certainly cares a lot, he's also frequently shown that he doesn't want to play the main character role, and that's what Fry is all about. I don't want to give the impression that Fry would be the best possible leader. Deep Cut as a group are designed to not be great rulers, with clear flaws, and they can only be great rulers when they're together. That's the reason that this debate is so hard and weird. None of these characters would be that great on their own, so picking one is naturally going to be difficult. I support people on any team, Team Shiver, Fry or Big Man, but I can conclude that when looking at these characters and what they've done in official canonical material, I believe that Fry would be the best pick out of the Deep Cut members. Shiver and Big Man certainly tried their best, but alas, they couldn't quite cut it. In my eyes, the best leader is Fry. Thanks for watching, and remember this video was made for fun and not for Fry propaganda. I don't think I'm going to be on Team Shiver myself, since I personally dislike her leadership style, but I could be Fry or Big Man here. It really depends on what everybody I know picks, but aside from that, make sure to take care and have a good day.